Hi. Learning about standing waves in physics class can be pretty boring, but it can also be pretty fun, like jumping on trampolines or playing with slinkies. First, there are three things that we need to know about waves. The amplitude is the vertical distance between the two extremes divided by two. Since a standing wave oscillates without propagating, its amplitude is not constant. The wavelength is the distance from one crest to the next or one trough to the next, basically how long it takes for one point to get through a full oscillation. The phase is the horizontal displacement of the wave, either to the right or the left. Waves can be standing or traveling, and we'll talk about the differences between the two a little bit later. A standing wave is a wave that appears to oscillate without propagating, in other words, without moving. Standing waves are created by reflections of traveling waves off of fixed ends, or two traveling waves that are identical, traveling in opposite directions, combining to create a standing wave. Here we can see the standing wave continue traveling along the string, then reflecting back to create the standing wave. In a pipe, it's a little bit different where the wave reflects itself off the walls of the pipe, then bounces back from the open end due to a change in boundary. There are three types of standing waves, and depending on if the wave is created with the string or the pipe, there are different modes of vibrations. With completely fixed ends, there are the examples of trampolines or violins. With completely open ends, an example would be a flute or a xylophone. With one open end and one fixed end, a good example might be a thumb piano. On a standing wave, the point that appears to not oscillate is a node. An antinode is any point that oscillates to the maximum amplitude. A standing wave pattern is called a harmonic. The first harmonic is where the object, whether it be a string or a pipe, becomes resonant. Resonance is when the vibrating frequency of the object is equal to the natural frequency of the object. This can be seen where the first harmonic has two nodes and one antinode, the second harmonic has four nodes and two antinodes, and so on, like with this violin. Remember when we mentioned standing waves versus traveling waves? Well, here's to help you differentiate between the two. Standing waves in appearance look like they aren't moving, but simply bobbing up and down, like switching the directions of antinodes repeatedly. This is the continuous form of a normal mode. The traveling waves appear to move from one area to another.